Many, many gun parts are made of low carbon steel. Low carbon steel has, does not have enough carbon in it to get hard. So what we do is we do a treatment where we cook carbon into the surface of the steel. And this method gives us a very hard surface with a soft core that's very flexible. And there are some things that are, work very well with this type of heat treatment. Now, most of the double barrel guns that we get today are made of a more flexible steel with a conventional heat treat or somewhat of a conventional heat treat. They don't use the case hardening anymore. But the good old guns, and some of the guns that are still high quality today, are case hardened. So in my mind, the best doubles made, even today, are the ones that have a case hardened receiver. And people will say, well, it's the old fashioned, it's cheap steel, it's the old fashioned method. Yes, it is. But it's hard as a rock, it's hard as glass if it's done right. Now I'm going to dump it in the compound. Make sure it's covered completely. Now when I put the torch back on them and look down through the dark glasses, keep the heat on it. When I take it back up to critical, I'll have a look, see to make sure that it is not too hot, but yes, it is at critical temperature. It wasn't quite hot enough then. It is now. I'm going to do this about five more minutes. And during that process, I'll start it in the case hardening compound probably two or three more times. Well, it's been about five minutes. So I was doing this for real. I put another copper block here so that no heat will get past this. And I'll get that hot enough to case harden, but I won't damage the color or the original finish up here. And I'll light the torch and go for it. Got about a two-inch flame. Put my goggles on. Start to heat my parts. I like to use a, a large torch so I can get the affected area hot right away. 